Welcome back to Bakes Foods. In this special episode, we're back at the lake with our homemade vertical rotisserie, and we're making double vertical rotisserie chicken. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and let us know what you think in the comment section below. All right, we have two raw chickens here we've brought to room temperature, and the first thing we want to do is get them seasoned up. So we're going to use just a random seasoning we had laying around. You can use your favorite chicken seasoning or salt and pepper, but we want to make sure we get inside of that cavity. Now if you guys have not seen our vertical rotisserie before, make sure you check out the video where we show you how to make it popping up above. We want to make sure we season it very well, that way the flavor penetrates. Right Pat? You get up underneath, rub some of that seasoning in there, and just rub it in there. You like that, don't you? And then we're gonna pack that back down. Gonna do the same thing with the other one, just get it up enough so you can push that seasoning in there. Now we're gonna get our charcoal lit and let it burn for about 15 to 20 minutes till we start seeing that gray. And then we'll go ahead and stack our chickens. Every once in a while we wanna just add a little more charcoal to the top. Double rotisserie chicken plus some really good seasoning. Salt, pepper, and garlic for seasoning mixed together. And then some beer put on there. Okay. There you go. Double rotisserie chicken, baby. Heck yeah. Now as that chicken starts to cook, we take some time to go out and do a little fishing. in this cavity here to kind of add additional flavor and to help it maintain heat. We'll just stuff as much as we can fit in here. That's perfect. And this guy looks kind of put on top. Look at how cool that is. This thing is almost, or these things are almost done here. We got our instant reap probe. Now what we're looking for is at least 175, but we like to go to like 180 or something, um, just to make sure it's all good. Mm -hmm. So right here, that's reading about 160. So we got a little ways to go. Don't worry about the wood, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're at what, about th three hours almost now? Two and a half hours? A little bit faster than we thought it would be, but. It's getting a nice crust. It's gonna be a little. It's gonna be here. beautiful. I tell you what, it's gonna be good. <laughs> With about an hour left on our chicken, we're gonna get our side going. Some broccoli cheddar, penne and cheese. We're using a broccoli and cheddar soup mix, adding water to the specifications, bringing that to a boil, and then we're gonna add it to our pre-cooked noodles. With cheese, cut up sharp cheddar, broccoli, and diced onions. Now this recipe is an experiment. We've never tried this before, so let us know what you think in the comments section below and stay tuned to see how it turns out. After about three and a half hours of cooking, our chicken is reading above 180 and it has a nice crispy crust going on. 
and now we're gonna carve up our chicken. First, I'm gonna turn off the rotisserie. Cut our string. Oh, that's hot. Definitely one of those good looking legs. That's crispy. All right, let's try this chicken out. Mm. Phenomenal. Heavy. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We are gonna mount out on some chicken. So let us know what you think in the comment section below. What else you want to see us cook on that vertical rotisserie? And uh, till the next one, peace, peace out. out. Subscribe or I'll haunt you in your nightmares. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Make sure you check that video where we show you how to make the vertical Girl, rotisserie. Go. Also like and subscribe and follow us for tons more videos. Stick around for the end of the video and check out some of our hilarious leg shenanigans. Thank you guys so much. You ever, you ever heard why the chicken crossed the road? Nope. It fell on the rotisserie. <laughs>